Entire neighborhoods razed to rubble. Israeli airstrikes continue to flatten buildings across Gaza. On the ground here in Rafa, the scramble to rescue people trapped under the debris after a recent strike demolished an apartment building, rushing the injured to hospital and lining up the bodies of those killed outside the morgue. Residents here say they have nowhere to go. No electricity, no water, no internet, no nappies, no milk. But even if we die from hunger, we will stay here and we will not leave. In five days, we witnessed bombs fall on houses, corpses in the street. We fled to the UN school. We thought it was safe, but they targeted it and people died. Thousands of people from across Gaza have left their homes and headed south to Rafah in recent days after being told to evacuate by Israel. Mediators have so far failed to negotiate a ceasefire that would allow foreigners to leave Gaza at the only border into Egypt. So for many, it is a difficult wait. We come to the border crossing every day. We contact the embassy every day and they tell us to go to the crossing. We wait for up to eight hours and then we go back. The journey is dangerous. We want them to solve this problem so that we can travel. According to US Secretary of State Antony Blinken, America and Israel have now agreed to develop a plan that would allow aid to reach Gaza. But working out the details will likely take time. Time that is running out for the thousands of Gazans caught in a growing humanitarian crisis.